Yes, you know what's interesting to me? There was a big thing about maybe two years ago or a year and a half ago that everybody wanted you to listen to your congresses, which is uh, the all the, the a Congress was this, you know, meeting that LRH had starting in 19, early 60s, and he would get a group of people together and he would give a series of lectures on X. And usually it was about, it all really had to do with clearing, because all these, the Congresses were having to do with clearing. And, uh, and I, uh, well, let me give you, remember that I'm talking about the Congresses. I'm going to give you the unabridged version. Is that okay? Sure. You sure? Time. Okay. Um, when I was in that TRs course, um, my very first week in Scientology. Now, again, I'm an actor, so you know, communication is something I kind of do for a living. So, and that's a whole course about communication. So, I felt like I'm pretty good at this naturally. And one of the exercises is uh, you take a. They use Alice in Wonderland, which has got full of these wild kind of. Uh, sentences, and you take it and you, you read it to yourself and then you deliver it as your own. That's a TR1. TR2 is properly acknowledge somebody. So they say off with your head and you say thank you to make sure they know it and end it and there's all these other things. Now, here I was doing this TR. It was happened to be TR2. And somebody said off with your head and I said, my God, and they flunked me. And I said, why? They said, you know, because you're showing, uh, you know, it's supposed to be just thank you, good, whatever. I said, no, read the fucking thing. It says appropriate acknowledgement. If somebody says off with your head, the, why do you think he chose Alice in Wonderland? And they bring the technical, the head technical person in the fucking place, and they're all invalidating the shit out of me, and I'm sticking to my guns. I finally am crying. I said, you guys are fucking wrong. Who the fuck talks like that? Thank you. I got it. Okay. Good. Wow. That would be way too much. Wow. Okay? I totally duplicate that. This is the way you're supposed to talk. I'm really talking to you, but do you see how I'm not? So it's there. I'm doing, this is perfect in terms of their idea. All right, I got it. Okay, so that's really, that was good TRs. It wasn't excellent. Excellent TRs is more like this. You know, you're really conversational, but I'm not moving, and I'm really looking at you, and I'm ready for everything, and I don't blink, and I'm not really, your eyes stink. Okay? So it's that kind of fucking deal. Some gum wore Sue up. Anyway, the, um, that's just a private joke. Oh. <laughs> you know that one, right? Anyway, um, Mu Gu Gai Pan. These are words that are the, that just, you can talk gibberish in Scientology to help you learn your TRs. And one of the things written down is some gum wore Sue up. That's not a sentence. That's like written like Chinese, S-U-M. Anyway. So uh, at any rate, so I'm in there, and I'm fucking crying and shitting and, and like blah, blah, blah. So finally I stop, and I, and I toe the line, and I'm like, thank you, okay, good, you know? And then about four years later in some event, uh, um, COB, David Miscavige says, hey, there's been this big breakthrough in this golden age of tech. Fucking piece of shit. They, uh, uh, they, they and... Uh, one of the things is, here's the real thing. On, people have been doing the improper acknowledgement. You're supposed to have, it says, appropriate acknowledgement. And they have LRH on tape saying, you know, somebody says, off with your head. And he goes, my God, that's the right way to do it. So here I was, this guy, first day of school, and I had it right. Now, cut two. You're asking me how I got out. So I'm in the fucking thing, and they keep telling me, I got to do this action. And I got to do this, and you got to do this sec checking and all this shit and I'm like you fucking people I wouldn't show up here if I wasn't ready and they would be sec checking which is basically asking me for my crimes and charging me thousands I probably paid 50 grand excuse me in, 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 in sec checks to get this shit together because everything was fucked up so it must be that I'm I'm fucked up and I kept saying these sec checks are killing me and this is the standard tech now this is the golden age of tech and I finally just said you know something motherfuckers I don't care, you could get LRH to fly down here back from fucking Target 2 and tell me that I am fucking doing it wrong. I am not going in session and doing this shit. You guys are fucking killing me. I am here to tell you, you're fucking me up. So I'm out of here until you fucking wake up, okay? And then they come back to my house and they're offering me free auditing. I say, show me where free auditing is standard. 
You're not giving me standard tech, now you want to fix it by more unstandard shit? Get the fuck out of here. You ask Griffey Blythe and the whole rest of those motherfuckers at AO if this is a lie. It's the fucking truth. And I'm out. And then they call, and I just went on course. Because I couldn't take any more of this fucking auditing. It was killing me. So then they come out with this thing. Then, Jason, you have to see this. I wouldn't even go to events, you know? Because me, I'm at events. Everybody's like, hey, how you doing? And I go, good. I just couldn't fucking lie anymore. I'm ready to fucking die, you know? I, and I told him, I'm not going. I can't participate. Because my role was like Jason Begay. I couldn't be like, yeah, well, I'll tell you the truth. I'm fucked up. I hate OT5. And everything's going fucking shitty. And it's fucking not working. And it's costing me a shitload of money. And I'm more unhappy than I've ever been in my entire fucking life. What would happen if you spoke truthfully? Well, I would tell that truth. I would talk to RTC and all these things. But it's bad. Pe it's none of anybody else's business. You're not supposed to talk about your case. So this is going on, honey, this is going on for, I was in Scientology maybe 10, 11 years, the last eight years like that, okay? And I'm paying fucking money. Maybe I paid a million fucking dollars, I don't know. I don't even keep track, I just said, what the, okay, here another fucking thing, this is going to work, you think so? Yeah, we finally got it. So anyway, on this fucking thing, I'm out of thing and I'm doing course and I'm just off auditing lines, you know? And then you've got to see this thing, Jason. He's going to fucking key you out. And I go in, and they show me this fucking... Uh, uh, and I'm looking at all these people who are on OT7. And they're going nuts with the sec checks, too. And I'm like, this is fucking crazy. These people, like, you know, they're supposed to be home auditing, and then they have to go to flag every six months. And they're there for, like, six fucking weeks. How are you supposed to... What are you, crazy? And they're coming home like, uh, uh, I had a really good six-month check. I mean, these fucking, I said, I mean, it's just as clear as day. I tell you, this is not fucking standard. Scientology is not supposed to make you worse. I saw, I was experiencing it and watching it. So now they come out, and this is two, three years. And this little mistake probably made the church about $500 million. And then about $500 million later, COB gives a fucking briefing on the free wins, and this is what they show me. It's arbitrary, it's canceled. It's an arbitrary, is what they say. So in other words, all this SEP checking was an arbitrary. And through his research and looking into things and rechecking all the LRH's notes, they realized they made a mistake. And so now I don't have to do the SEC check. Aren't you happy, Jason? And all these people, like on 7, like a bunch of fucking idiots, were like, arbitraries are canceled. I can just go on, and it's going to save me about 50 grand a year and all this shit. And it's like, wow. And me, I'm like, you think that's supposed to make me fucking happy? I feel like you should have a fucking apology. I said, if I were COB and I made that mistake, I wouldn't go arbitrary canceled. I say, I made a fucking mistake. I am sorry. And I'd make up the fucking damage. I'd pay. My fucking mistake made me 500 fucking million dollars, and you don't fucking even say you're sorry? You say, guess what? And this is what the fucking thing does. It just plays the same game over and over again. And this, when I go in now to the Congresses, the Congresses, I, toward the end of this eight years, they say, the, and I'm like off auditing. You know, I finished the, uh, you know, OT5 finally, and I just said, I don't want any more of this shit. And, they, and they, they, nobody even said take OT7, because apparently I'm in the middle of four different fucking actions, and nobody knows what to do, you know? So I'm fucking in the middle of L10, you know, I mean, I can tell you about L10 is, is a story in itself. L10 is a story. So just know that they use my fucking wins on the L's. And the L's are what fucked me up in Scientology. Okay. The, now, I do the, uh, I do the, uh, so I'm, I, I go and I say, fuck it. Okay, I'll buy these congresses. It's only a couple of thousand bucks. And I got something to do and I'll get in shape. I'll listen to a congress and go for a walk. So I was one of the first people to finish the congresses. Because I just sat, I get up and I fucking thing, 